welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time I'm going to investigate the vision recognition capabilities of the Jetson Nano, NVIDIA's 128 CUDA core maker board. Specifically, I'm going to connect a camera, explain the basic principles of an artificial neural network, install an NVIDIA demo called Hello AI World, and see what it can recognize. Now, here we have a Jetson Nano with a Raspberry Pi version 2 camera plugged into its camera serial interface or CSI connector. And as you can see, the camera is mounted on a little tripod so we can see objects positioned at the end of the table on this nice green background. So, if we go to the Jetson Nano's Jetpack desktop, here we are, I can run up a terminal like that. And here we can run a very long command that looks like this, which should give us a preview of what the camera can see. And there we are, it works. Everything is working so far. And the idea is that later in this video, the Jetson Nano will be able to tell us what these things actually are. Yes, the Jetson Nano is a small computer not named after a fruit, but able to recognize a fruit. And it will perform this magical feat using a deep neural network, or DNN. And so, before we install some code, I thought I should explain what a DNN actually is and how they're applied in vision recognition. Neural networks, or more accurately, artificial neural networks, or ANNs, are widely used in machine learning. They're comprised of layers of variables known as nodes, each of which can carry a positive or negative numerical value. Inputs to the network trigger weighted patterns of connection between the nodes, which are used to generate an output. Artificial neural networks that have multiple or hidden layers of nodes between their input and output layers are termed deep neural networks, or DNNs, and can perform deep learning. Deep learning neural networks have two distinct phases of operation known as training and inference. In the training phase, the network is presented with a great many inputs, for example, many pictures of rabbits, and these establish a set of connections and weights that associate a particular input with a particular output. Once a network has been trained, it can then be deployed to run inference. So, for example, the trained network may be shown an image of a rabbit that it's never seen before and will be able to infer that it is a rabbit with a reported degree of confidence. Or, in other words, based on its previous learning, the DNN will be able to report the probability that what it is looking at is a rabbit. What all of this means is that deep neural networks are able to accomplish things that they've not been explicitly programmed to achieve. So, Let's see if we can get a deep neural net working on the Jetson Nano. Right, we're now going to install the NVIDIA Jetson demo called a Hello AI World. And this is freely available on the GitHub. Here it is, look. And this contains a pre-trained DNN that can recognize 1,000 objects. And I'm going to go through the setup process quite quickly because it's all very well documented here. We just have to go down to a building the repro from a source there and you'll see everything is here for us on the screen. Let's just zoom it up a bit so you can see that. There we are, it's nice and nice and clear. So we'll start out in the terminal. We've got one running over there. And the first thing we need to do is to make sure that a Git and CMake are installed on our system. And uh, there we are, and we now need to make a copy or a clone of the demo's repository. And I've got the uh, correct text already in the buffer because it's quite long. There we are, we'll put that in there. And there we are. And we now just need to change the directory the files are in. So it's td uh, jetson and uh, in runs like that. And we can now run the command to make sure our files are updated and initialized. So far, so good. So we're now going to make a directory and it's going to be called a build where we're going to build the files. There we are. And we'll change into 
build. And then we can now run the cmake command, which will run a script to install the required prerequisites for this application and also download our neural network files. Next, with that lengthy operation completed, we need to compile the project with the make command. And uh, there we are. And now finally, we need to execute a sudo make and uh, install that. And there we are, it's finished. Our demo should now be ready to execute. Right, it's now time to see what our vision recognition demo can actually do. And I just wanted to point out that I've removed the Ethernet lead from the Jetson Nano just to make it clear that all inference processing will be taking place locally on the board. So if I go back to the, uh, the desktop and bring up a terminal, I've navigated to the right uh, directory, Jetson inference build, etc., where all the files are. I need to execute this command, which is going to be image net and a camera and a Google net. And what that's going to do is to open up a live stream from the Raspberry Pi camera and perform real-time vision recognition on it using the pre-trained deep neural net included in this demo. Now, I should point out that Google Net here, in case you're wondering, has got nothing to do with going online and searching on Google. Remember, this machine is now offline. Rather, Google Net here refers to the type of convolution neural network or CNN model that we're loading in. And yes, it's another piece of terminology. I'm afraid there's loads of terminology to get your head around in the world of AI. So for now, let's just get on with the demo. And uh, there we are, it's running up. And I should point out this is not the first time I've run it because the first time you run it, it takes quite a while because an NVIDIA technology called Tensor RT has to optimize the network to run on the CUDA hardware. But once that's happened, a cached copy of the optimized network is saved and so things run very quickly after the first run. Anyway, I'm sure none of you are actually thinking about that right now. You are looking at the screen and going, Chris, You've got an elephant on the screen, a wooden elephant. And uh, there we are, this is indeed a, a wooden elephant. And as you can see, at the very top of the screen, we've got a frame rate telling us how rapidly things are being processed. And then down here, the network is reporting what it's looking at or what it thinks it's looking at, an African elephant. And here, next to it, it's showing us its confidence, the probability it's correct in thinking this is an African elephant, which seems to be between about sort of a, well, it's around 60%, isn't it? And if I bring up the, uh, terminal, you can see if we just open that out a bit, you, all the guesses going on, there we are, we open it up, uh, for what this might be, lots and lots of data whizzing around. And if I just move that down the screen a bit, you'll see if I move this, it starts to be more difficult, it's having lots of guesses, all sorts of things going on, a squirrel appeared for a second, there, a piggy bank, all sorts of things. So uh, I won't keep that uh, on the screen, but I will give you a larger version of this line up here, uh, lower down on the screen so you can see things more clearly. All the things you can do by the magic of filmmaking. Anyway, we've proved we've got this uh, elephant thing. What else can we try to identify? What have we got here? This is a, uh, it's an orange. That's an orange, the elephant's still in the shot. Go away elephant, it's always wants to get in on the action, that elephant. Let's try um, switching fruit. Let's have a, that's a Granny Smith. Very high uh, confidence on Granny Smith. Look at that, 99 point something. I think it was 100 then for a second. 100% now if it is a Granny Smith as we come close to the camera. So it's, it's good at recognizing not just apples, particular types of apples. And uh, presumably is it good at say, yes, it's fairly good at the banana. Pretty certain that's a banana. It's amazing really, it's picking this thing out amid the background of my hand and everything else, isn't it? So uh, let's try um, that, what's that? It's a wooden spoon, it is correct. And if I turn it round though, I found sometimes a wooden spoon turned into a, oh, it did there, turned into a ladle. When did it turn into a ladle? Just about there. I can't do it now, can I? I was gonna tell you it turns into a ladle, but sometimes it does. No, it's, it's fairly certain most of the time. Oh, it's a drumstick now, there we are. Now it's a wooden spoon again. Uh, vision recognition is a fascinating thing, isn't it? Uh, here we've got, what can that be? It's, um, no, it's not a coffee mug. I put tea in this. Deary me, it's got that one wrong, hasn't it? And uh, 
This is a, what's that? Water jug, snorkel, cup. Water, water bottle came up. Wasn't very good at recognising that as a water bottle, was it? This uh, part of the cup can't be helping, can it? Getting very crowded on this desk. Any better? Oh, it had a water bottle there for a second, didn't it? And um, what have we got left here? Oh, let's try that. That's a bit different. What's that? That's definitely toilet tissue. That's uh, recognised well. Although I've noticed on this object, if you do it like this, it becomes a paper towel look eventually, because you can just see the end. But once you can see that, it's definitely toilet tissue. And uh, oh, this is a good one. Try this one out. I've been playing with this all day. This is, there we are. Get it right on screen. It's a teapot. It recognises a teapot pretty well. And you can see lots of things uh, reflected in a teapot like that, uh, like that banana. So there we are. I won't go on forever. I'll show you, show you a couple of others. This one amuses me. This is the, um, my uh, mouse I'm using, which it thinks is a joystick, which admittedly most people think this is a joystick. But if I do that, it thinks it's a mouse and it gets it right. And uh, finally, let's look at this, which is clearly a um, wine bottle. Is it a wine bottle? It is a wine bottle. It turns into other things, though, that as it goes around. But now, actually, no, it's quite, quite certain it is a wine bottle with a lot of flicker. Never mind. But other than that, it's a wine bottle. So there we are. That is our look at the camera part of the NVIDIA Hello AI World demo. I should point out there's also a console part of this demo where you can actually put in things in the console. And there's also tools to help you write your own vision recognition programs. NVIDIA's Hello AI World demo provides a great introduction to neural networks and vision recognition, and I hope that you've enjoyed having a look at what it can do. In future videos, I plan to explore further capabilities of the Jetson Nano. But now that's it for this video. If you enjoyed what you've seen here, please press that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.